I'm Kristen. And I'm Kayla. And we are K. And K. Create. Create. Thank you for joining us for another video. Um, you're watching the Monday Night Locomotion premiere train. Um, I am, we are number we are. four in the, in the train. Um, first up at six was just Janice, followed by uh, uh, Julie E at 6.30, acrylic painting with Julie E. And then it was um, acrylic art by Mary Kirk at seven. And now comes us, k, &K Create, 7.30. Mm -hmm. Up next after us is Angie Mason, Angie Mason with a live um, yep. Angie Mason Fluid Art. All right, so Kayla, what are we doing today? Today, we're doing me something and different. You mm -hmm. are painting ornaments. We're painting Christmas ornaments. Yes, we yeah. have gotten a request to make some um, mm -hmm. to give as gifts. So we're going to be pouring Christmas ornaments for the first time. Yeah. So come along with us and see how we do. Hopefully you guys enjoy the video. Yeah. Catch you at the table. Okay. Mm -hmm. Bye bye. Bye. Okay, so we're back. Nice. Uh, we, we forgot to show you <laughs> yeah, we the dried show you results something. from the last video. This was the um, bloom vine that I did on the eight by ten canvas. Mm -hmm. There, it's all dry. And there's a there's a little paint blob in it. Yeah, there is a paint blob. Um, but the person that is purchasing this, yes, I've sold it. Um, it's actually like my first official sale to a stranger, <laughs> um, which is nice. It wasn't a friend or family member or or you know, um, it, it's a stranger wanting to buy my piece because she thought it was beautiful. So I'm going to resin it. Um, she doesn't care about the paint bloop that's in there which is nice she says it's unique yeah. uh, so i just wanted to tell you guys about that okay mm -hmm. now you can catch us at the table yeah <laughs> hi everyone hello hi all right so as you can see we have some ornaments mm -hmm. this is our first time Thank you um, on ornaments. Pouring on ornaments, but we, um, well, I, I, I can't say we, I watched some videos and I found that Mixed Media Girls um, tutorial fit, um, I think, best with what um, yeah. we wanted to do. So mm -hmm. we got a styrofoam block, covered it with parchment paper, used some stir sticks. These are the regular tongue depressor type stir sticks. Yep. And they hold these ornaments beautifully in place. <laughs> yeah. We I tried. don't know that Another they're all thing. straight. Yeah, we'll... <laughs> I bought some things at Michael's that turned out to not um, yeah. be appropriate. They were too short, but, and that was before I watched Mixed Media Girls video. So yep. that was a, that was a little bit of a waste, but it's fine. Where did they go? It's fine. They don't need to see what we're not using. True. All right. So I mixed up some custom colors because this is a, a, an order that I am fulfilling for um, blues and silvers and whites. So Kayla can show you. Some of the colors, and I'll tell you how I mix them. So why don't you start with this one? Okay. Now this time we're going from the opposite side. Instead of from going this way, we're gonna go from this way. Yeah. So first we have Windsor Newton Windsor Blue. That is a very blue. big tube of yeah. Windsor Blue. So here's the Windsor Blue. I have added some of Artist Loft's iridescent medium. medium to some of these to make yeah. them sparkly because I want everything, so, sorry, excuse my hand, everything to be sparkly. So here's the Windsor blue with some iridescent medium in it. And yeah. it is a gorgeous blue. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, next we have, next we have, again, we're going this side, um, golden acrylics, light ultramarine blue. Yeah. Just regular tube, not those fluid acrylics right regular regular uh, heavy body so i lightened this up with some titanium white just like liquitex, liquitex basics titanium white and i added a little shimmer to this too with the iridescent yeah medium this is not as shiny which is fine yeah because it's a lighter blue it can be matte more matte 
So I left that a little bit more matte. Yeah. Okay. And then next we have wait, decor Americana decor metallics sterling silver mixed with regular mm -hmm. silver. Yep, mixed with regular silver. Because the sterling was a little bit too light, and this the regular is, silver was a little bit too dark. This is the sterling, and then this is the silver. So I mixed them together to get kind of a medium. Silver. silver it still looks light in the camera but it's not as light it isn't as light as yeah. in real life and then i just have some titanium white mm -hmm. that's just nothing special about just that just regular liquitex basics titanium white yeah okay and finally mm -hmm. we have yeah go ahead okay so finally we have golden primary scion mixed with some Artisoft Iridescent Medium, again. Yep. And this is a beautiful blue color too. <laughs> so I can't recall, but I did squirt a little bit of the Golden Iridescent Pearl Fine into some of them. And I think I added a couple of drops of Prussian Blue to the one Windsor, of them to the, to the Windsor blue I think so to make it a little bit darker yeah I'm also, going for a uh, blue and silver and white I'm wondering why that color this palette. says artist colors and this one just says acrylics I don't know why one says artist yeah. colors and one says as acrylics. you can see this is golden artist colors and this one's just a regular acrylics but I don't know why this one says artist colors and this one says acrylics maybe someone can enlighten us and let us know please do because okay. i'm confused so we have no idea how much paint it takes to cover an ornament nope but i have these little four ounce cups little tiny cups so i guess we'll fill one half three quarters of the way and we'll see if that's too much not enough and we'll go from there how does that sound okay yeah all right so i don't think we need gloves because we're not like tilting or anything nah. right mm -hmm. so i'm gonna let the paint flow down on the parchment paper off the parchment paper we have um as you can see this is our fluid, fluid art co format format in the black which we love it's so cool mm -hmm. so maybe we'll let some drip on there and then we can have some nice but skins i also love these yeah we, got we also got these little things well, they're not little. They're big. I mean, they're big. They're I mean, bottles. Yeah. Oh, and another thing cute. that we got that we're so excited oh, about. Yeah. We're not using them yet. Mm -mm. But we got these stuck-up piggies in, I think this one, yeah, pretentious and, and boastful. boastful. I did not get the other one. I forgot the name of it, the reddish one. But these... I think are going to be right up our alley because they're blue, blue, purple, green. Yeah, see, it looks green in the camera and it's purple. I'm looking at it and it's purple. This one looks purple on the camera. I'm looking at it and it's more of like a pinky, mo like a mauve. Um, mm -hmm. And I just got the little one to test out first. We'll see. But I like this go. big too. But not, not today. They, the pouring medium and the color and they're just. I just love it. Yep. It's very cool. All right. Sorry. We're not using any of these things today. Right nope. Away. Okay. All right. So how about I try one first and we'll see how it goes and then you can try one. So I think we'll probably just ring pour on them and see how it comes out. So um, we'll probably just layer a cup. Yeah. Just layer a cup. Yeah. You want to pick the order? Remember, first in is last out. So, trying to go light, dark, light, dark. Okay. So, start with a little, Windsor a blue. little bit of the Windsor blue, and not too much. Yeah, not too much. Okay. But and I left these thick. Mixed Media Girl used um, ready to pour paints. She said the thicker the better to help it stick to the ornament. So I just um, left these thick. How about silver? Silver. Yeah, I really want that silver next to this blue. I think that will be awesome. Then what about 
some primary sauce. Mm -hmm. That one, not this one. <laughs> yeah, the other one. Why does that one look so much more iridescent than the rest of them? Because I probably added more. Oh, <laughs> and you probably to put it? some iridescent pearl in there. Yeah. Okay, next, um, what about white? Okay, white. Well, yeah, I think you should put white. Yeah, between, white looks better. In between the two blues. Well, don't really look like a bluish color. That's bluey purple. It's like yeah. periwinkle. Yeah, periwinkle. All right, we'll put some of that. Yeah. Okay. Um, what about more silver? More silver? Yeah. Okay. Not too much more, because I don't think we'll need too much paint. We'll try to get one okay, more lastly, layer. Okay, lastly, yeah, ones are blue. It is the last one. It's not the last one, but I don't know how much we're going to need. We've never done this before. If anyone can inform us. Well, it's too late now. They, It's not alive. They can't tell us right now. We're going to have to go with the flow. But I think we should sure. put a little bit more. Yeah. Maybe like, white? Yeah, white. That's what I was going to say. <laughs> Okay. Um, that's probably enough, considering that you think these that's enough. Ornaments are, are tiny. Little... All right. So, you want me to do it first? Yeah. All right. To show me. So we're gonna rinse pour it. I'm gonna pinch this. Yeah, of course. Cup. Pinching it is the best. Yeah. Let's pinch yes. this. And we'll rinse pour and see how this comes out. We have no idea. All right, you ready? Mm -hmm. Ring pouring? Okay. Yep. It'll be hard ring pouring on an ornament. Oi, oi. <gasps> no. Bad ornament, bad. That's probably enough. It's covering the whole thing, I think. It's crooked, though. It, no, won't, stay crooked. it won't stay straight. I think that's okay though, as long as the whole thing gets covered, which it looks like it is. Yeah, it is. It is? It's all covered? Yeah. Even on this side? Uh huh. Mm, not really. We can fix that though, I think. That's fine. It's fine. All right, so that was. It's gonna I be didn't even with use. The silver thing. I didn't even use all of it. It's gonna be covered with the silver thing. That's yeah, true. Thing. It's, it's a little crooked this. though, but that's okay. I accidentally hit the microphone. <laughs> now, do you tor I don't even know if you do you torch these things or what? Because these bubbles. Bubbles. I see them. So maybe it's just a light, quick one. Yeah, like. Whoop. I mean, they are plastic. So you gotta be careful. Yeah, but it's plastic underneath the paint. I know. It's covered with paint. Well, that looks pretty cool. Yeah. yeah. All right. So we did not even use all of that paint. Yeah. So maybe it's like about this. So you want to just do some more layers in here need. and keep going? Yeah. Okay. Why not? What do you want next? White. White? Yeah. Okay. Like a... I don't think we needed that much, but <laughs> we'll probably just add like a few more layers. I think that's just enough. a few more layers. Yeah. All right. What's next? Um, what about some primary scion? Because there isn't that much in there. Silver. And lastly. What I think is going to be lastly, some Windsor blue. Windsor blue? Mm-hmm. Yep. I don't even think we're going to need this much, but we'll give it a try. And I'm going to do this one. All right, go for it. I'm bad at And don't pours. worry if it moves, because it's sticking very well. I'm bad at ring pours. So don't do a ring pour. Do a straight pour. Do whatever you want to do. I could do a straight pour? Yep. Okay. I'll do that then. From up high, maybe? We gotta get it in the middle. 
You gotta make it so that it's gonna cover all the sides. You gotta move it around, okay? Okay. Good. And I'll end it off with a little wind pour. Okay. Now I just. You don't have to just whip it up. It's fine. It doesn't have to be perfect. Me. There you go. I need to do my first tournament. It didn't cover oh all God. of it. Oh. Let's try to. Oh, okay. We need a little more then. Yeah. Well, you dripped a lot of it off when it started to tilt, but I think what we can do. It's over there. Yeah, I know. Maybe we can. There's not much left in there. Yeah, there isn't much left in there, but. There is at least some. Okay. There might be enough just to cover this little space over here. Yeah. Oh, it's going. It's dripping down. Yeah. Oh, almost there. You know what? Let's there. let's take a stick. Scoop some up. Scoop some up and drip it. Like you do. It isn't doing over there. <laughs> no, I'm, there was a little bit more missing on this area. Well, there's some more right here, too. Yeah, that's good. Right there. Right here? Yeah. Oh, it didn't even cover it. All right, there's more. <laughs> okay. okay. So now I'm beginning to think that we should have taped around here. I don't know. We'll have to see if the ornament covers fit. Hopefully they do. All right. I think that's all covered now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Now the last one. Who's going to do the, the last one? one? Who should do the last one? Um, you should. It doesn't matter. You should. I should? Yeah, you do it. Okay. I got to clean my hands <laughs> off a little bit here. Hold on. I don't want to do another. I think I might actually just want to try to read it now. So I'm gonna do it. <laughs> All right, so what you have to remember is the thing is gonna move. So yeah. as it moves, you have to adjust. Uh -huh. Okay? Okay, <laughs> good. I kind of, I wish this stuff would have dripped on the silicone mat. But it'll dry on here. Yeah. And make and some nice skins, right? Yeah, right. and it might even be able to do a dip. Oh, yeah, a dip. Yeah, a dip. Good thing I brought it dips. Alright, let's use a new cup. Okay. How about you do it this time? You choose the color. I layer it? it on. Yeah. Alright. I like starting it. with the uh, Windsor Blue. Yeah. And silver. That's a nice combo. I like the same layers you picked. You did good. I'm taking some new pick up a little ornament thingy. And it probably is most likely gonna fit because this isn't like an actual thing that I have to screw on. You could just pop it back in. Mm -hmm. It's really simple. I think that's probably good enough. Oh, so you did the same way I did. Kind of, yep. Yeah. All right. You know what? I'm going to be what? a good mom and hold the ball for you. Really, Linda? Yep. Thank so you. just pour it in the center and kind of make sure that it goes equally down <laughs> okay. the sides, okay? Go ahead. Now adjust, adjust, it's going, yep, there you go. Good. Good. A little bit more over here. Good. Is it good? I think so. 
Let's see. It looks like you got it all covered. Yay. Yay. <laughs> yeah. Cool. That was my first ring pour on ornament. Yeah. <laughs> and you should probably rub these hands. I'm going to rinse them in the sink. Yeah. Okay, so we're gonna let these dry and then we're going to spray varnish them and see how they come out with the spray varnish. I'm just gonna torch this a little bit. Oh, yeah. There's a little bit of bubbles. Yeah, I think I'm gonna, you have to seal them. I don't, I don't think, no, it dries clear. I spray varnish my paintings. Not, not the primer, the spray varnish, the glossy spray varnish, yeah. Yeah, I was old before right. I like it. I'm gonna oh, I <laughs> try not to let this drip onto my new pouring. pouring mat. And I'm going to clean what has dripped onto the pouring mat off now before it sticks. All right, we'll take you through the steps of the process and see how they come out. Okay, so oh, we yeah. have some dried results for you. They actually mm -hmm. came out really cool. Yeah. Um, I put two coats of spray varnish, high gloss spray <laughs> varnish from Windsor <laughs> Newton, um, and they came out pretty cool. So this was the one that I did. Uh. <laughs> I. It's hard to see with the light, but it is nice and shiny. Okay. And this one's the one that I straight poured. Yeah, Kayla did two of them, I think, And right? this is the one that I ring poured that I just dropped by accident. Yeah. yeah show them a little bit closer. <laughs> I accidentally dropped this one by accident just now. Yeah. That's why I was like... They're yeah. really shiny. I'm, I'm really so yeah. impressed by the gloss varnish. Um, They look really good. So yeah. there's three, the three that we did, and we'll be making some more because uh, yeah. we got an order for 11. So we'll be making some more. All right. Thank you for joining us today again. Please, if you haven't already, give this a thumbs up for us. If you haven't yet subscribed, please consider subscribing yeah. and leave us a comment. We'd love to hear from you. Mm -hmm. um, also, if you have not yet seen the other videos in the Premiere Train, please go back and watch them. The links are in the description box. Okay, thanks everyone. Have a good night. Good night. Bye. Bye-bye.